You can, you can, keep trying, don't give up. You have to believe. You have to believe. Over the years, the centuries, so many teachers and poets and songwriters have talked about the significance of knowing yourself. I know we've all heard, to thine own self, be true, Shakespeare, or learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all, Whitney Houston. What I know for sure is, that in all the talk about loving yourself, you can't begin to love yourself or even be true to yourself unless you know who you are, separate from your ego. So think about this for a moment. You're at home listening, watching me and taking in the thoughts that I'm sharing right now. And there is an inner space that allows you to perceive these thoughts, little not even a space, I'm just using the word space because there is no other word. There is the ability to perceive what I'm saying and be aware of what I'm saying. That is where the true you abides, in that awareness, in the very center of yourself. And when you stray from that center, you get lost and you make mistakes. I learned this the hard way. Your ego takes over, everybody has an ego. I used to think the ego showed itself through um, someone being arrogant or stuck up or haughty or the who does she think she is prancing down a red carpet kind of thing. Well, I'm in show business and the business of showing myself. So I'm aware that there's a lot of egotism involved in this business. And I always thought that I had my ego in check until I realized that it's not just the obvious. It's not always acting out or showing off. In 2008, I chose Eckhart Tolle's book, A New Earth, for my book club. 